Okay, so I am fresh out the shower, and there's still water leaking. So, um, like I said, I washed my hair with the mix checks, and then I put the conditioner in it. One thing I didn't tell you guys was that once I put the conditioner in it, I kind of finger detangle while it's wet with the conditioner in it. Um, and then I just let the conditioner sit in there for maybe like 10, 15 minutes, and then I rinse it out. Um, a lot of people detangle after they have like a detangler spray and they use it to detangle. I find it easier for me to detangle with the conditioner in there because my hair is soft and it's wet, so it kind of makes it better. Whatever works for you. Um, so after I shampoo, I always put my hair in a t-shirt. I don't really use a towel, only because I just don't. Um, I heard it, it kind of dries your hair out, so this is my hair. Um, fresh out of the shower and it's been in the towel for a while because like I did a face mask and prepped for me for my lunch tomorrow so it's been up there for a while so I mean it's wet but it's not as wet as I would like it to be so I'm just gonna use my handy dandy just to get it a little bit wetter not that much, just a little. Oh, and hey, it dried. So we don't have to tell them. Okay. Um, and that's, I really don't want it that wet. Now, the good thing with my wash and goes is that I only use two products. Like the shampoo, two I products. use the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. It is a godsend. Most people say use a dime amount. I don't know who those people are. So I use more than a dime amount, like that. Um, and then another thing I noticed was that when I'm using different products, I have to like section my hair into four sections and make sure this gets fully saturated with product and this side. I don't do any of that. I don't section my hair off. I don't have to worry about detangling my hair because my hair got detangled in the shower. So all I simply do is apply product. Um, I try to make sure that I apply it evenly, but I don't have to worry about separating my hair into four sections and for some people that works for you some people your hair is like super 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 thick and you have to do that i don't i'm gonna apply more sorry guys kind of new to this thing i know you guys needed to see it i'm gonna apply this in the back and if you don't get it all rubbed in when it dries it will soak into your hair that's another thing i like about these products is that it will soak into your hair once it dries. So if you see a little bit of yellow residue, it's fine. And then the last thing, I'm gonna take a little bit more. And I'm going to apply it to the back, back here in the kitchen. And then to finish it off, you see how that's like, it's fine. To finish it off, I'm going to take just a tad, like literally a, just a little bit, maybe a quarter size this time. And I'm just going to apply that to my ends. So that's going to take care of the conditioning part. Alki Naturals, can you guys see that? Shea Moisture, Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. It is super, 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 super thick. It's kind of like a shea, like a raw shea butter. But I found that it is the one thing, as much, that really gives my hair the moisturizer that it needs. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the leave-in conditioner. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> In the back. Um, I will say with this, um, it's very thick, so you don't want to apply too too much. I've just I've been doing it 
for about four months now, so I've had trial and error on what works and how much works and how much doesn't. The reason I say that is that if you put in too much of the conditioner and if you put in too much of the moisturizer at the same time, it does have a tendency to weigh your hair down. Which is good if your hair is super thick and you want it to eventually get big as your washing days go. But for me, I like mine for, to be big on day one. So, now that I've applied both products, all I'm simply going to do is put my so hair on So, I'm going to bun it. Like so. And there's little edges that we... And that's it. I'm going to take a headscarf. Satin. Make sure it's satin. And put that on the top. Make sure all of those things get in there. And that's it. I'm going to go to bed. Um, now, because my hair is super thick, I'm going to let you know it's probably not going to be dry in the morning, but that's okay because as it dries, it will get bigger throughout the day. Um, so that's it. I'm going to go to bed, and then when I get up, I'll show you guys how I take it down, shake it out, and that's a washing go.